Welcome everybody to Falcon Place Basement. This is going to probably be the very last episode for this run right here. Um, last episode we finally took care of the rival gang for a fact, so they're no longer an issue for us anymore. The only issue now is basically maintaining our income, which is going to be relatively easy. All I really had to do if I wanted to do this was just fire people because we no longer have to worry about being raided. The last thing I want to do is take over the shelter here. But before we do this, I need to also mitigate my prices over here, and not my prices, but my salary, because we're not, we don't have enough money to bribe cops anymore, that's becoming an issue. Um, the pusher, we lost it last time around. They came over here, they were asking for 5,000, I think all we had was like 2,000, so they took over. Five cops is what they sent over here. And let me tell you this much, the guy that was in here selling put up a fight, he took out two of them, but then, unfortunately, the numbers game caught up to him. But he was pretty good, he, he did pretty well for himself. I, I have two plans right now. Number one, we have to get a central area of distribution happening. As you can see, we're picking up drugs from all the way over here, and then my slow-ass vans are like, do-do-do, do-do-do, do-do-do. Oh, here's some. I have to go back now. Do-do-do, and by the time they get back and back again, we sold most of the product over here, which is no good. Therefore, here is what I propose we do right now. I'm not sure why they collect so much drugs from over here when you have this here completely packed in, you know? But here's what I want to do. I want to move this little area over to a centralized area where you can um, spread drugs easier. And I think we're going to do it at the hangout because we have so much room over here to kind of make some more rooms happen. Or, or, uh, the abandoned hospital as well. The abandoned hospital is next to cellar, cellar, cellar. And then we have these two over here. You know what? It might be better over at the hangout. Because we'll have cellar, cellar. Once we get the pusher back, there'll be cellar, cellar, cellar. And yeah, you know what? It's not too bad. So we'll do it at the Hangout instead. Meaning you have to seize operations over here, Mitchell. You're going to definitely be seizing operations. So let's start off with... Well, let's start off with this area being demolished along with this one right here. I'm not sure what I want to do with this area just yet, but for now we will demolish all this extra stuff that I don't really need. I'll leave this here so they can pick up these drugs and that'll be fine. Uh, Mitch, let's send you... You're maxed out already, my friend. Let me get you... Eh, I don't think you need HP right now. Let's, let me send you to the Hangout. So, Mitchell, maxed out dude, over to the hangout. Alright, so no more drugs to be picked up from here, that is fine. Uh, nothing to worry about here, nothing to worry about here. Are you done with your research, Raymond? You probably are. Oh no, I didn't give you another research because we were broke. Alright, well, I'll, I'll look into that pretty soon. So over here, we're going to need a few producing stations. More than likely, we will do another atom stand if I had to wager a guess here. So it's going to cost us a little bit of money for sure to get this up and running. And we might want to have two guys over here making some drugs for us. So let's hollow this. Let's hollow that. Let's make the room that we do need. So right now we have 13 of 15. We might have to put up another battery before we do anything else here too. So let's say we do need a little bit of money to come in before we do that though, don't we? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to take care of the shelter now, this right here, because I want to get rid of my last few fighters. So we have Josh, I should have more than just Josh, what happened to all my extra fighters? I know I've been firing people, come on, give me a break though. Uh, we have homeboy just standing around over here, Theodore, you're not doing anything, right? Move your ass down here, yeah, you're not selling, right? Yeah, homeboy over there selling. So Theodore and Josh are over here maxed out. That's good. No fighters over here. And... Really? Oh, we have Raymond as well, who's my researcher now, apparently. Okay. That would be three guys for... Three guys. That is perfect. The only worry is this guy. Everybody else is... Um, actually, they're not, they're not too weak themselves, honestly. So let's um, rally the troops at the money storages, I would say. So, let's see here. Theodore. And... That's it, huh? Just Theodore? Yeah, you're maxed out, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Okay. Hold up. Who is my fella up here? Carlos. Carlos, stop selling drugs. Stuart. Go up here. There you go. Alright, so Carlos and Theodore are going to be coming over to... Money storage, and then we'll make the last push. So Carlos and Theodore. Carlos, Theodore. There you go. Freed up. And we'll take over this last shelter. 
and we don't have to worry about having muscle too much around then. I'll wait for comp rates, but then it'll be relatively easy. As long as we keep our sellers maxed out in terms of their um, stats, they'll be able to defend against bad trips, and we don't need any fighters anymore. The fighters are mostly just used now for raiding. But once the raiding is done, you really just could... Not enough storage space. You could just really focus on getting a few sellers maxed out, and you're fine. Alrighty, guys, so let's go ahead and do it. Shelter. Uh, Theodore, Carlos, and Josh. There we go. We're picking up the last bit of product over here, so we don't have to pick up all the way over here anymore. That's great. Uh, Mitchell is over here now, which is great. I'm waiting for a bit more money, though, aren't I? We do have... Oof, this battery needs to be moved somewhere else. Ugh, I'm gonna have to build this again, aren't I? That's a really terrible location for that battery. I mean, I put it there before we thought about making this another production area, so that's the only issue here. That's fine. We'll go ahead and make the battery room down over here now. How much money is it going to cost me? 250 That's fine. It's fine. Alrighty, so, and we're going to also want this upgraded. Are we fighting? There we go. Alright, I'll come back right now, guys. One knockout. Take care of a pigman. Take care of pigman. Oh, pigman's gonna kill that guy. All right, one dude down. That's fine. We at least weaken pigman a little bit, right? Come on. There you go. All right, cool. Hey, you know what? If you, <laughs> if injured dude wants to take care of pigman, that's fine because he'll probably die, and that's uh. Oh no! Don't go downstairs. Stop delaying the inevitable. You need to die or get fired. One or the other. The same thing. Ah, uh, it's not the guy I wanted, but all right. Hey, 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 trucks. <laughs> I got some news for you, trucks. You, you're not. You don't work for me. Get out of here. <laughs> I'm already. I barely can afford my own people. Okay. There you go. Where's the other one? No, no, no don't pick up any um drugs over here. Leave those back. Put those where you found them. No, don't take my drugs, you you jerk. You stole my drugs. Oh. Well. Okay. You guys need to get your HP back. I'm not sure if I am going to keep you around much longer. But, for now, we're looking for shelter, guys, right? Yeah. And, Jermaine, what are you doing here? Did I send you to get your HP back, maybe? I guess. So, unless you finish um, producing or training production. Could be the thing as well. Alright. So, assuming you're done with your training production over here. Oh, good. I can just send you to the hangout. Yeah! Hey, did I... Did I lose, um, a victor? Oh, I think I lost a victor! Ah, oh, scumbag. I lost a victor. He probably blew up from making drugs, and I wasn't paying attention over here for a while, because I had two different things happening. He probably blew up and never got his HP back in time, because they're dummies sometimes. Ah, oh, victor, I lost you. We lost your brother, man, your twin. What can I say? He wasn't a wise dude. Alrighty. Well, you know what? That's quite alright. Caleb. I'm gonna send Caleb over to learn some production techniques over here. And since you're maxed out now, Jermaine, and productivity's maxed out, I'm gonna send you over here. Okay, great. I'm gonna have him work on the Atom stand. I wanna produce more Atom because that'll give us more money, obviously. And since these guys are now maxed out in production, they should also produce it faster, so we'll be able to move it around more easier. Mum's the wiser, as they say. Alright, you guys are cool over here? There's barely any product, but hopefully, once we make the centralized hub over here, we'll start moving this product a lot easier. Uh, you, a hey, no, 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 not the weed one. No, no, no. No, not that one. That one, there you go, buddy. Good. Alrighty. Now then. That is fine. Over here, we have one... Producer. I wanted to have two, but at least we'll do it one right now. I need to move this battery away for one, so let's demolish it now. And hey, check it out, we're almost up to 4,000 already, so this alone has already made wonders for us. Um, centralizing the area, getting a few people killed, fired, you know, it's already helped us out by a lot. Has this been ever upgraded? No. Get that upgraded right now. Good. Over here will be where we start producing some drugs, and. I am going to tell you right now, we'll do some more Atom over here as well. So, build room. Oh, not enough power, of course. That's what the extra battery will be for. 
Alrighty, so build room. M stand. 132, 78, 105, 90. Yeah. So Adam Stan it is. It's gonna cost aggression 4%, but I, I'm, I'm fairly confident we'll be fine about it. Alright, so... Adam Stan it is. I... I am gonna allow this shelf to stay up here. Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna allow it. I will leave this open because I want to set up another stand here at some point. So Mitchell, over here. Now, Mitchell, you're going to be exploding, dog, so we do need a hospital room down here for your explosions, so we'll set that up like so. You guys are selling 11 of 12. Have I upgraded these stands completely is the other question. Yes. And... Yes. Okay. 11 of 12 is still pretty decent. And we might as well upgrade this smack. Oh, battery, of course. Oh, no problem, but no problem. Do that. And do that. Do you guys need anything else, or are you guys fine now? You have a couch, Adam stand, you have a shelf, you have two batteries, you have a healing room, you're fine now. You are perfectly a-okay. We have a dude tripping out over there, but that's okay. That's the reason why the healing room is here. Cool. And how are you doing over here by yourself, buddy? You're, you're hanging on. You're a trooper. He's very lonely out here, but otherwise he's fine. Alrighty. Hey, remember, if you're blowing up, I need you to get your HP back uh, automatically. I can't be keeping an eye on you. There's so many things to keep an eye on now. Alrighty. How are you guys doing? Uh, no product in your shelves, obviously. Don't worry, we'll start producing a bit more over here, hopefully, and then that'll be pushed out. So, add them over here, and some more on this side. Can somebody explain to me how this junkie got all the way down here and killed one of my guys? Oh, I know. Um, you don't have enough people to defend anymore, Falcon. Well, I mean, true, but... <laughs> true, but... Come now. Come now. Alrighty. Police battalion's gonna start pretty soon. Hey, luckily we have money now, so we might be able to bribe them for once. Now... Caleb. Yo, Carlos, you're not supposed to be training in production. That's Caleb's job. Get out of it. Caleb. You know what? I'm gonna say forget your production. We might need you to start over there, but you know what? Just come over here and produce. That's fine. Um, alrighty. The last thing I want to do before we wrap it up here, I want this piece of property back in our name. Here comes the cost. We should have enough money to bribe them off. We're up to 6,900 now. So easily now we have now since we lost some people and we're now producing more and we're selling in a more centralized hub, we are now going into positive. So again, we had to spend a lot of money to take care of the extra gangs, but now that that's taken care of, we could easily get rid of extra fighters, we don't have to spend too much money per day, and we're doing good. You guys will be the last dudes that I'll use to send over for this little pusher area right here. There's three individuals there. I I think you guys should be- oh, that guy just blew up right there alone. Oh, speaking of which, our production is going to be kind of low now, so we do need to hire individuals now. Oh. 5,000, yeah. Don't worry, I got the money this time. I got the money. So what we need is a few sellers straight up and a few more chemists now, right? So I'll pick up Benjamin. There we go. Ricardo is already at a one. Perfect. We'll pick both of them up. And Metal Greymon. Yeah, you hang out there. It's fine. We need to get you out of this location, right? Alright. You guys are maxed out? Maxed out? Yes. They're in money storages, Falcon. So, money storages, that means Carlos and Josh. And with this little piece of property right here, we're going to pretty much wrap it up, guys, because we're done at this point. All we have to do now is just kind of like manage our micromanaging. Essentially, what this turns into after you get rid of the rival gang is um, you're almost rolling back to the old build of the game where it wasn't um, no rival gangs, it was just kind of like a monopolizing type of tycoon game where you just want to make more money and there's no really objective. So the gangs definitely give the game objective. So with this under our control... Oh! Got it. <laughs> Wait, we got it, right? Why is it still showing that it's raiding? Buddy? What? I mean, that should be ours. The, the cops are gone. 
Well, it's not giving control of me, but hey, we know for a fact we have it, right? Oh, look, he's getting HP by himself for once. That's good. About time you guys fucking did that. Oh, he's dying on me without paying attention. Uh, abandoned hospital, guys. You need to move over to my basement. So, let's see. Freed up, and where's the seller that I just hired? Benjamin. No, 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 you don't have to train. Just come over here. Alrighty, guys. And with that, I believe we are done. D Stop blowing up. Stop blowing up, Jermaine. With that, I believe we are done. <laughs> I'm not sure what happened over here. It's frozen. Maybe once I reload it, it'll be um, taken care of over here, right? Let's try it out. Let me reload just to make sure that's fine. I'm curious. There you go. Adam Stan, perfect. We have an extra seller as well. The reason why I wanted that extra seller is because I want to move Jesse to be freed up. And... No, no, Benjamin. Benjamin, you're not going to make drugs for me. No, don't make Adams. No, no, no. You don't belong there. You come over here. You, Ricardo, belong over here. There you go. So we have sellers over here. We have producers now. Uh, production happening over here. Selling happening over here. You have product. Product. You guys have no product. Neither do you. My fucking vans. I hate these vans so much sometimes. But yeah, we are done. Let's um, do a quick reload here. I want to see if that's going to be under my control. I would like to see everything under my umbrella here. So let's do... Not a restart. Let me go to the main menu. And continue. Excuse me? Oh, come on. I took care of all three of you. My fighters are still here. If that means anything. Alright, you know what? I, I really want that to be under my umbrella. So... Before we wrap it up, guys, let's speed it up here. I already won this fucking thing anyway. Come over here, hurry up. I want to see this under my umbrella, goddammit. Where's my truck at? There they come. Just hopped up on drugs with those guys. Yeah, I'm gonna kill, I'm gonna kill us some cops over here. Alright, get him. Alright, that should be it. Alrighty, there it is. For some reason, the first time it didn't register, but now it did. This is now our location. We have completely taken over everything over here. So, we're going to wrap it up. Let me just give you guys an idea as to what I meant about the objective-based missions here. So, we're done. We're in the positives now. Let's come back to the main menu. Now, we're, we're done with the run here for now. I could continue the series if you guys want to see some of the mission-based objectives. Those are done with, um, we have to release our, or delete our old game, huh? That's unfortunate, but we had a good run. These right here are definitely um, objective-based missions the game offers for you. Uh, let's see, for instance, Prison Break. Objective, free your bandmates, you can't hire a new staff here. So it'll give you an objective and it'll also limit you to what you can do in that mission. Where it's going to be like, yeah, you could... You have to do this, but you can't hire so-and-so. You can't dig. You can't take over an area. You know, it gives you different type of limitations to what the objective's all about. But if you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments and we'll come back with that. But otherwise, for now, we're going to wrap it up here. Uh, we'll look into another update whenever it does drop. And um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. I will catch you next time.